Wayne with Madison's Match. Let's talk tennis. And I saw this little girl that at the time could barely walk, yet she was going for it. The night before the Legends Tennis Camp, Pro-Am, and Exhibition, Madison's Match hosts a beautiful dinner accompanied by both a silent and live auction. The room is filled with distinguished guests and charitable hearts. From the moment I met the vibrant Madison, I was immediately hooked. Her courageous spirit, contagious personality, and her incredibly positive and uplifting energy are qualities I wish I could be surrounded by every day. The majority of the people in this room, you've been extremely generous, you've given your time, you've given your money, you've you believed in, in this vision and this cause to take a challenge in life and decide that you're not going to let that get you down, you're going to make something out of it. And we use the, the sport of tennis, we use a tennis racket to motivate people to come together and, and make a difference with people's lives. One day, she decided that he couldn't hold her back anymore. She was going to go. And when she went, she achieved her goal. Through it all, though, Madison never lost her smile or her infectious spirit. And she still stands strong. On the second day of this incredible two-day affair, we began by meeting the pros and coaches. But first, Maddie took me aside to give me a few pointers before we hit the court. Southern California in my third year at Georgia and I turned pro and I called uh, young Michael Pernforce who had recently made the finals of the French Open leaving college and I said, Michael, he's here today. I said, Mike, what advice do you have? <laughs> he's he's surprised. He just realized I'm here. He's, he's here, he's here today. I said, what advice can you give me on turning professional? You know, and trying to make this work. And he says, honest to God, and he may not remember this, but he says, Even the guys that make it learn how to lose.
Okay, so Murphy, I know you've been coming to this event for many years. How many years has it been? Nine, all nine. That's really awesome. Even when I'm not here, I'm here. <laughs> it's called Murphy's Spirit. Your spirit is always looming. Yeah. You and Madison are really, really close. How did you guys form this bond? Have you known her since she, she was born? From the gate, actually, from nine years ago at the very first Madison's match, I met a little girl who had, had gone through so much, uh, so many health issues and so many, so many uh, you know, challenges. And I saw this little girl that at the time could barely walk. Yet she was going for it. I imagine nine years ago, barely walked, barely be able to talk, all that stuff to see her where she's come today, nine years later, is just truly an inspiration. But along these nine years, I've invited her to uh, the world of professional tennis where I coach the world team tennis, Washington Castles, where I coach Venus and Serena and all the superstars. Mm -hmm. And she's right there with me. She's sometimes on the bench she's a basically a, an uh, honorary member of the team and after every match she's there signing autographs with the stars of the game and uh, she really gives all our team a lot of inspiration and a lot of perspective on what we consider a good and bad day or a problem and not a problem because you know compared to what madison's gone through anything we face on a tennis court is a day at the beach um, I think she's one of the most inspirational children that I've ever met. Uh, her spirit, she's Miss Congeniality, even after everything. everything. She's, she's beyond uh, <laughs> a spirit and a force. She is a life force that can't be kept down. And, you know, I learn stuff from her. You know, I'm a value-driven guy. And, you know, compared to, um, you know, when people say, how do you compare an event like this to the biggest stages in the world, like Wimbledon and the French Open and places like that, and I said, this is a much bigger deal. Mm -hmm. Those are just tennis events, and those are things where there's, you know, a lot riding on a tennis career, but we're talking about there's a lot riding on a human being, on a human life, and many lives, and we're able to raise money that are going to affect change and affect this community in such a big way. And that little girl serves as the inspiration for all of us. I, I couldn't agree more. You really summed it up. Thank I you for so. thank you for being so supportive also because yeah. I know you mean a lot to her. Yeah. So it's really special for someone like me to see the interaction between the two of you. Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't want to be any place else in the world. She did my hair. She's not going anywhere either. She insisted that I wear a bun and not have my hair in a ponytail, so I let her do it. Madison, Madison gets what Madison wants. Yeah. 
So did you guys reach your goal today? We, we, did, we did extremely well. We raised approximately $145,000. That's awesome. Like everybody here was so great, so charitable. What an awesome group of people. I mean, I can't thank you guys enough for including us. And I look forward to seeing you next year. Come back to Southwest Florida anytime. Thank, thank you. you. <laughs> I got my tennis balls. I got my tennis balls. Hit them all day long with my tennis balls. Then that is not your friend. Then that is not your friend. What's your favorite part about this event? That we're all coming together to do this event. What do you want to grow up and be on? I want to be a pro tennis player. All right, who's your favorite tennis player? Jensen Boy Murphy.